remember the whole challenges within the game. You remember what that was like. There's one challenge, you can win against a yellow cop. And this yellow cop flew through the air and unfairly was hit in the air. But guess what? I put him back in the game. Only for me to mess around with. But he's around here. There's a lot of him. And he's scary! There he is! There's the cop X! He flies at you like the K dog and the bloody dog! He flies at you just like his enemies. It's still scary to me to see an enemy fly towards me like that! Especially in the end of the He's like, oh, he's just, he's, he's like, he's motionless flying through the air towards me! I don't know what is so creepy about it, but it is! You just turn around and he's just like, what behind you? <laughs> <laughs> this time I'm not gonna cheat and go out of bounds. I'm not gonna cheat cheat it now. You know, I'm not gonna run away and go, uh, go do a wall like I did last time. I'm gonna be brave and actually stand up for these enemies. Uh, it's scary because I don't hear anyone else in the trailer right now. And that's scary. It usually begins to weird me out and I feel like something's gonna come up behind me and like scare me. Or I'm gonna see a ghost or something's gonna happen behind me. Because I'm literally on one end of the room, and of course there's a closet behind me. And of course children always have that fear that there's monsters in the closet. Well, to me, I sort of get that feeling too, like something's going to come out of there and scare me. Ugh. So it doesn't help I'm doing something scary right now, and that's the Cop S. This thing is scarier than the Bloody Dog and the K-Dog. Those things aren't as scary. Those things are slow, well, okay, the dog is kind of the same speed. The bloody dog. Kind of the same speed as this K, not K dog, but yellow cop, or at least cop S, the predecessor to the yellow cop. Yes, same color scheme. Which was only done because he used the older World of Warcraft palette for his three color originally. <laughs> Cheating thing, look at you. Even with the newly added fire, you still like cover over it. Cheap thing. Ah! Oh no. No, we cannot escape Cop S that easily. Of course not. Let's make this a bit less scary though. But the game won't let us. It wants us to be freaked out. Probably because the CD code is probably on. That's probably what's solving it. Yeah. We want some music help at the moment. Not shipwreck. Spooky night, yes. Come stormy, just so it fits. Now where's the cop? There he is. Cop S! You have to run. As soon as you turn around, you see that thing. You see that thing running at you. You turn around, you see that thing running even faster off. I think the floating is creepier, you stupid thing. You scary thing! Can you do the scary floaty thing? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, 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 do that. Do that! Stop me in midair so you can hit me! Seriously, there's nothing in front of me right there, game. Did you want me to stop like get hit by that cheap thing following me? The thing that isn't doing the creepy behavior? Where is it? Where is the creepy behavior, cheap thing? Ah, <laughs> oh, normal one to me. What a relief. I will gladly take a break from that creepiness. The moment I go back up there, you know it's up there. You know, Cop S is up here. I don't know what the S ever stood for. What did it stand for? Superpowered? Spooky? Who knows? Ah, what? How did it make it up here? Oh, it didn't. Probably a load of cops up here. Shit, nice dodge. You know, I'm not even concerned about you all. You all are a joke compared to Cop S. Cop S. Like the name sounds stupid, but but at the same time, it's it's like it's uh it sort of sounds like some sort of like legendary name, like the rumor has it that Cop S is gonna come float at you and then it's going to cheat to kill you in like one hit in the middle of the night. Oh great, it is the middle of the night. Great, so Cop S is gonna come and kill me. Oh, that's great. So it is just like that, isn't it? Cop S is going to come towards me. It is going to hover towards me. Oh, what? 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 What's the scary behavior, game? What's the scary behavior? The one where I feel like I'm being chased. Now, keep running. Oh, no. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Please don't hit the wall now! Will you do the behavior already? Stupid thing! Oh no, he is doing it! Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's scary! Compass is scary! If only I gave Compass like the no clip flag so he would go straight through walls if I went around one. He would just endlessly levitate until he got right near me. Oh, that would be scary. That really would be scary. Oh, oh, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. Duh. Whatever, leave. No more of these all! No, K. No, K Dog. Tell me, K Dog, because you might as well be K Dog. Because that sound just as scary as that was. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm not cheaping it out. Oh, this room's really creepy because you can see him floating. Oh, get me out of here! Oh, <laughs> Ah! 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 This is a horror game. Very special adventure in a horror game. Get ah! Oh no 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 no! This is scary. Everyone's probably laughing at me, thinking this cannot be scary, but it is. Top ass is scary. Good thing I removed him. Unfortunate, I had to bring him back. And now he's gonna levitate down the hallway at me! Oh, you're a joke to her to cop ass! Getting rid of you. You jump you ever- No! No cop ass is gonna get me! Oh, okay, good. They almost run at me at the speed of cop ass. I sometimes think that the new cop is cop ass. But it's not. Where'd you go, cop ass? Oh no. Multiple cop ass. Oh, I love you thought that the one wasn't creepy enough. Oh, oh. oh. No, let me in! Coffin is down here! Oh, ew. Ew. Do you all want to see how powerful Coffin is? Here you go. Look at how overpowered Coffin is. Yeah. This cop was actually designed for those challenges. Cop S was designed to be so overpowered, you cannot kill him. Literally. He has 32767 health. Let me just point that out. The awesome music playing right now kind of helps calm me down a bit. Unfortunate, we're not here to be calm. We're here to be chased by scary things. Including the cross. Ah! I'm not getting the game over. There, nine up. Actually, I'm wondering, son. Ah! <laughs> if you give yourself 900 nine nine extra lives, the game, the, the game does what YouTube videos does. <laughs> oh, whoa! Definitely a cool reaper fight, though. For your ears, at least, good reaper. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of that video where I was looking at the cake all and I kept commenting on the reaper from the first stages. That reaper! Why does that make me think I really should do this? I think I should do this. For old time's sake. Let's go back to the green special stage. Okay, good. And then let's summon Top S. And oh no! It's this again. It's this again. Great, the K Dog, we now have the creepier K that kid cock ass Which of course is a good scary behavior now. Eh. We trust to do the scary behavior. You hit the ceiling you disappear. Come on over here, you scary thing. Uh, 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 that is scary. Oh yeah, let's get this. Um. Uh, seriously, how come the more extra lives I get, the louder it is? So if I give myself, so if I give myself nine, 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 nine. <laughs> I bet that's seriously gonna hurt the headphone users. Rip headphone users, cause that sound is gonna destroy your ears. <laughs> kind of funny. I'm wearing headphones. But it's probably not the same volume as yours. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably, 
while you get hurt all your ears, but that, that, that really loud sound it makes. <laughs> It's funny, it's like, that's something I need to fix in my game right there. Make it so that it only plays the sound once and doesn't try to play it once per extra life. Come on, Cop S. Came here to be scared. Came here to be scared by you. Ugh. No. 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 Cop S left me. No, we need a second Cop S. Ugh, yes, you know. I told you to turn around and you be flying at me. It's like he never wants to fly at me! He never wants to do the creepy behavior! It's creepy behavior! He doesn't want to do it unless he's near enough to actually hit me by it. Now uh, you're gonna do it! Now you're gonna do it! Now you're gonna do it! No! 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 I really don't like getting me to fly at me! Can you all not tell that by now? I think I'm about to say CD don't be enabled. I don't really want CD to be enabled. If we play the awesome music right now, this song is one of my best songs. Oh, I can't hear that at full volume. I know when you're that boy. Now let's make it really scary. We now have lots of cop -ass. And okay, good. They're not helping me. They're not, they're not doing that cheap line through the air that creeps me out. But the, it's like it's kind of it's unfortunate to me that they don't do that a lot. They don't do it when I want them to. They only do it when I don't expect it or when I'm too close to escape. Ah! You know, it's like I wish I did it every time, but unfortunately, I guess it's, it's a scary thing. Don't really like to play the role. But it's flying at me right now. Oh, of course he's not, see? Every time I expect him to be doing it, he stops. But then... Oh, see? He's only cancelled right there. What, what, what do I have to do to make you try to run at me? Ah! He's gonna kill me. He cut off my music. He all gonna replace him with. Oh, of course. It's spooky night. As if it wasn't scary enough. After this, we're gonna go back to an old one. I feel like I need to redeem myself. I'm just gonna record a video about me getting scared by flying things. Things that fly my face. Things that never do it when I want them to! Ah! Only does it when I'm gonna get trapped. Are y'all gonna fly me for once? Are y'all gonna fly me? Oh no, of course y'all gonna fly me. Um, no! Ha. Uh, Getting smarter than you all. They are! Oh no! Oh no! 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 We're gonna fly away! No! See, they only do it when I'm not okay. Oh no! You fast, stupid thing! Oh no! 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 They usually do it if I wait for them. If I try to run away from them, they cancel it. <laughs> like, I'm not wasting my time chasing you. You're too good of a person to run away. <laughs> Cop ass. Cop ass. Oh, I'll stop stop levitating towards me again. <laughs> uh, nope. It looks like that isn't what makes them come after me. What? Oh! What does it? Ah! That's what does it. That's what does it. Does it wait until they almost trap me and run away? No, 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 no! Ah! Blue strip my face! Wow, I think Mary's Kirby style death animation is kind of broken. It doesn't have the gravity it's supposed to. I want to challenge the K Dog again. I want to prove that I can stay there while he's chasing me. Because I really was stupid in that video. Yes! Let me hit you. Let me hit all of you. The rules are the same as usual. I must not get touched by a K-Dog. K-Dog. See, it's like they're not as scary as Cop S because they don't fly you fast as a bloody dog. And they don't fly you fast as Cop S. No, 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 no. Ah, the controls are still unresponsive in this version. 
I was literally button mashing the jump button right there. The game just doesn't accept my inputs half the time! You know, unlike a newer version, where it's like really responsive. Like literally, I could push the jump button and it responds pretty much every time unless it's lagging. But for some reason, in these older versions, half the time I push the button, it doesn't do anything. I don't know if you can hear the mouse clicking because I have a little noise canceling thing on it. But trust me, it is. Well, you know, I am clicking it all the time. Just can't risk getting killed by a K dog. I'm not sure what those things are. Uh, um, oh, no, 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 no. I got hit by a K dog, but. How did one get up there? They don't go up that fast. K Dog's trying to prove you wrong, like, his name. You know you're so scared of me. Oh, yeah, by the way, whenever I saw that red floating coin, you know how in the older video I said that I saw a red floating coin and I thought it was K Dog? That you. that you dog? K Dog. I thought that again. Ow! Yeah, I thought that right there was a K Dog. Because it looks very similar, even today I'm fooled by that. No version is so crap. Nothing will change. Oh! Oh, what's that? K Dog! Oh, no wonder it's up to a K Dog. Some of them are camping up there, so if I go up there, I can hit my K Dog. Ah! I can't jump, the K Dog would not me. No! Oh! It's like, seems like they're not as scary because they're not as fast as the other two. But I'm just proving that I can stand up to them. Where's my music game? Why am I on the MIDI soundtrack? Why am I- oh no! Switch? Yeah, we need Ocean Base <laughs> Zone Act 1 because it is also music! <laughs> it's just really unfitting! It's like the earlier versions of World of Kirby Craft. I don't really think I had a sense of direction back then. Like what I wanted my game to do. Like, I didn't know what I wanted it to do. Oh, I want to put random Kirby enemies in it. Oh, I want to put in random music from random video games. I don't want to sell this game. What am I doing? I'm just making it in my own spare time. You know, oh, Arthas is the main character. Mary is just a side character. Zane is dead. You know, it's like back then. This is totally all my thoughts. Oh yeah, and let's steal the first special stage from Sonic Road Last 2. I know. I stole it. I know. Don't have to tell it to me, DMG64. I'm not letting them live that down. Oh no. Oh no, they're camping again. Huh. Music always makes it less scary. No wonders I made the music solid on the video. But it's not like I'm cheating right now or anything. Because I've already shown you, I can handle the cage off. So you saw it back there. But now let's go to Andy's room. I think Andy's room should be in this version, right? Yeah. Andy's room is creepy in its own way. I mean, not only is it from a game with FMVs on the Game Boy Color, Toy Story Racer, ugh. it's like, ugh, I mean, what were they thinking? It's like, they were like, oh, we know the Game Boy Color can't possibly have the graphics of the, play I think the PlayStation game, I think that's what it's on. So like, well, our version of Toy Story Racer is just going to have pre-rendered videos in the background, like some simplest version of Hot Wheels stunt track driver games. <laughs> Those games kind of had a unique thing, you know. Oh, let's put a pre-rendered video behind you, sure. You, you won't notice that that really palette compressed video in the background is totally not where your Hot Wheels car is. Not I guess. It's creepy enough that this place comes from that game. Well, my own version, because I'd be too scared to look at the video to accurately recreate it. But, you know, it looks weird. It has this really weird palette limited look to it. It comes to a game with random videos and it creeps me out. Yeah, well, this place is kind of perfect for these creepy enemies. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. This totally reminds me of what I did in that video. You know, I spawned a bunch of these K dogs around this corner and then I hit them all. Go, get hit. I'll probably make videos in the future where I'll look at these older versions and I'll talk more about how my game felt more generic and didn't feel like I had everything straightened out. 
Compared to Mary's My School Adventure, and not only are the controls more reliable, as I talked about earlier, but also, it also feels like it has more of a sense of, I knew what I was doing at that point. Because all of a sudden, Hell City became the main thing instead of generic grasslands to the hills level. And also, this level disappeared because this level does not match all the other special things. So yeah... Hopefully, you get what I'm saying about the Mary Fights with Adventure ones. That's when I came to realization and everything became as consistent as I would want it to be. Not in this old thing! Anyway, so let's just hide underneath the 3D chair! And get onto the bed. Hopefully. Oh! Oh! No! I need to get on the bed! Oh! Now they have to drop off! It's like a jump scare, but it's not the same because I didn't drop my health down to one. And in those older videos, I always reference Five Days at Freddy's. I don't do that anymore, but I guess I might as well bring it back all times. You don't want it to be like a Five Days at Freddy's game where you're forced to stand still and if, if one of them hits you, you get a jump scare, and then a big loud scream comes out of your speakers and ah! <laughs> you know, you, you don't want that, but that's what that game does. <laughs> at least that game series. Which is still going to today. Didn't I? I think I saw one that was named like Five Nights at Freddy's 6 or something. Like, what? Still going with that? <laughs> Guess I do have a right to bring up that game series. <laughs> because it's amazingly still going. <laughs> That's just interesting to me. <laughs> now, where's the music? Why do none of the special stages play music? In fact, there's something kind of creepy about these older versions. I've tested them all, and it's strange you cannot get that get the glitch happen. But I swear that at one point in time, every time I would start up a special stage, if I left the console up, I would hear bling, 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 bling. I would hear the 8-bit version of the You Failed the Special Stage music, Burn Bridge. I would hear the 8-bit version. What's weird is, it was always the 8-bit version. Even if I had the old soundtrack on, I would still hear 8-bit beeping playing the song. And that to me is kind of weird. Because I think I, eventually I did hunt down that there was a part of the code that strange was referencing it. But it was kind of creepy when the game would just randomly play that music for a second. Ugh, gives me a creep thinking about that random 8-bit music playing. Ugh, just creepy. I hope you understand how creepy that is to me, because that is creepy in its own way. <sighs> oh, you can't get rid of the K-Dog, unless you stop and then spin it just the right time! Oh, this. <sighs> no, it must have been a jump scare. Also, why do they use the same explosion graphics as the K-Wheel? Seriously, that's the same explosion graphics. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I avoided you all. Oh, and wait, 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 what? It starts off as the K wheel graphics, and then it becomes the K dog's proper destroyed fur graphics. What are these? Guts destroyed fur? They're the same, or at least like fur shredded off in their direction. That's what it looks like to me. Hey, what is a K dog? It looks like some Cyclops. I know it's supposed to be like a monster or something. Like Sparky looks deceivingly cute and then it turns into this messed up thing. But I've always called it a dog! Because to me it looks like a dog! Ah! It's like the only way they actually can kill me is if I actually get trapped in a door. Also, I was wondering if the and then this would happen, you know, where it where it made that that water sound in Andy's room, even though there should be no water here, but and then and I was like, why is it making that noise? It's just a version that even does that. Also, I doubt that that song is here. No, the weird soundtrack's here. We don't get to hear that random 8-bit music. And alright, I will explain about other creepy things, because we might as well just keep all the creepy things in one video. So basically, here's the two other creepy things that happened. First off, I'll explain about one, because it wasn't really recently. But it's been within the last few uh, weeks or something. Basically, you see the computer right here? That's the iBuyPower computer. 
You've probably never seen it because we only looked at its screen. We never looked at what its outside looked like. I like how it has the blue and orange theme on it and the X on the side, but unfortunately, it's not easy to see that. But however, something weird happened with it one night. It had happened before, but the creepy thing that happened was basically I woke up from sleep and ah! this weird sound came out from across the room. This weird screechy sound. And meanwhile, I'm thinking, what is that? Is that some sort of toy activating or something? I mean, there are lots of things that can activate in here. Lots of toys are underneath there. Probably some in there for all I know. And of course, there are things like this and this, which are electronic. Of course, then there's also speakers and stuff like that. But still, what made it kind of creepy was just because it came from nowhere. After I heard it a couple of times, I ended up running out to get mom on my... And then she ended up coming in and heard it herself. We eventually traced down that the sound was coming from the computer. And specifically, it's fan. But that was a creepy thing, just because it... The noise it made, it was really weird. It like always lasted the same amount of time. Weird screechy pitch. It's like it's the bad kind of screechy. It's not the good kind of screechy like the Doom 3 amp squealing. That sound is awesome. This is kind of the opposite of awesome. Oddly enough, it didn't make the sound any time after that whenever we had it on, but I was always afraid it was going to. Huh. But what's weird is Ma also said that apparently the TV out there was making a similar type of sound, but it was lower pitch, like boop or something. So both of them were making weird sounds. And also the laptop, it also blue screened randomly during it, just so that I couldn't get a YouTube play, a YouTube video playing so I could cover up the sound when it happened again. Thankfully it didn't happen again until I was actually able to hear a video. That was one of the creepy things. Now, the other creepy thing is, well, basically one morning I was going to go back to sleep because usually I wake up multiple times in the middle of the night and in the morning. So of course I ended up thinking, well, let's go back to sleep. This kind of reminds me of my dream videos. It sort of should be in one of those videos, but it's too creepy. It's not like a nightmare either. This is just weird. All of a sudden I close my eyes and all of a sudden I hear some like loud voice talking to me. And I don't really mean like, you know, you don't just, it's not like some faint voice that my mind would do. Or one of those voices where you're falling asleep, you're beginning to fall asleep, and then right when you open your eyes, you're blah, blah. You know, you hear a brief sound for some reason. And I've actually had that happen recently. But the thing is, it's never loud. It's as loud as real life. The talking was always as loud as real life. Like if someone walked up to you in person and talked, you know, their voice is pretty loud. What noises my mind plays is like this by comparison. You know, it's like really quiet. So my mind can never go over that volume level. But when I'm in dreams, it has to imitate all sound. It sounds just like real life. But it can become way louder than it can ever make noises when I'm awake. So my mind literally had people talking at full volume like real life. But it was clearly a dream. But I could not see anything. So I just saw darkness and just heard people talking. Every time I would open up my eyes, I would just feel the instinct to go back to sleep again. And when I would, the cycle would repeat, but I would hear other people. I would hear a different person every time. It was just creepy because you couldn't see anything. I didn't feel like I was all the way asleep. And only one time did I see graphics. Like it was like this island, but it was like square. <laughs> kind of reminds me of my Stormy Sea Zone Act 1 and the Sonic Road Blast 2 mod that I was making. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. But, ugh. still, I only saw graphics once, and at one point, I actually believe it was Dave talking to me one of the times. Now, what's kind of creepy about that is, like I said, Dave died. 
after he died, this weird event happened. And afterwards, I could not go to sleep. I decided to stay up and I was scared that night to go to sleep. And I did not want to go to sleep. So Ma did the whole thing where she like, did some like, sort of like exorcism, but not quite. But it was like all over the room, trying to keep the spirits out. Basically telling Dave, if that's you, don't try communicating that way again. So yeah. Just in case anything creepy ends up on this video, since I'm talking about creepy stuff, I'm kind of creeped out. Well, just in case any ghosts decide to manifest in the background, if any of you were in here, could you manifest in this video? If there are any spirits around here, could they appear in this video? I encourage you to appear in the video, but don't do anything bigger than that. So then anyways, as I was saying, that happened after Dave died. It sort of reminds me of when I was littler, and I saw my father, who died when I was like really young. But when I was a child, and we lived up in like Berkeley Springs or something, I was like out in the living room. It was like right beside a door, like the back door, or I think the front door, I don't know which it was. But basically I looked out there and I saw this silhouette of a guy, a guy like this, who was like this. I keep thinking he looked like he was wearing a hat, and he was like doing this, he was like, Except he was a silhouette. But yeah. I also saw a dog beside him. Of course I know who they are. I think one of them was Chuck, my dead dad. Since Father Day Father's Day was recently, it seems kind of old of it for me to bring that up. But the dog, I believe, was a Great Dane named Honey, who he happened to bring with him so I would recognize him. Since I could only see him in silhouette form, I guess he figured to bring along a familiar pet so I would recognize who they were. It's unfortunate I only realized after the fact that I didn't have any cameras there to try like getting a picture of him. That would have been great if I could have got a picture of him or if he would like pop up in this video somewhere and I'd be able to say, hey, there's my dad. <laughs> Ugh. Unfortunately, I would only see a silhouette of a ghost if I was unprepared like then. And of course I just ran out of the room and told Ma, but whenever she came into the room, it was gone. Of course. All of these creepy events. Just feared I might as well bring them all up in one video. The game, the weird creepy music coming out of nowhere when I didn't tell it to. Ghosts, weird ghostly events. Yeah. I don't encounter that many ghosts, but it seems like any time that someone dies, any time that someone dies and they happen to be someone that I loved, then after they die, they come to me in some weird form. I'll just tell you. <laughs> it was weird when either of them died and then they popped up in some weird vision to me or weird dream or whatever. That was creepy both times. So yeah, those are all the creepy events in one video.